Hello and welcome back. This is Steve of Bugs Coins and welcome to the channel. We have another in the post for you here and this is in the post number 60. First of all we have a set of stamps <coughs> that came on one letter. These are all UK stamps. They include Princess Diana. I think that's a Christmas, a couple of Christmas stamps there. I think that would have been the 2012 Olympics. We got some older Christmas stamps there. We've got rugby. I think that might have been the Rugby World Cup. And then you got W. G. Grace, who's obviously a very well-known cricketer. Some cars, some ceramics, and cows. I'm not sure what that dark one is. What's that dark stamp? I'm not sure what that dark stamp's supposed to be. The other one, these here are from Germany, some stamps from Germany. So they'd be Euros and Euro cents. They will be very grateful for any stamps that I get. A lot of people now uh, on eBay are using the direct postage, which means they, we don't get very many stamps unless you, once you're lucky. However, when I get them, I just add them to my bag of other stamps, which is it. I think this is about the third or fourth bag I've had since I started collecting coins again. So, There we go, so they're all safe. Right, other things I've got. This is a zero euro banknote. It's from this year and it celebrates the Chinese year of the dragon. I will be doing a video about this, so don't worry too much. Next one, I found this. Uh, when I was doing a tour looking at uh, stamps, I was after the Terry Pratchett one, uh, but I couldn't find one of that the, that set. But this one is the Four Series of Black Adder, one of my favourite comedy series ever, so I was happy enough to get that. I'll be doing a short video about that as well. Well, we go to St Helia next. We have a series of coins. We have a one crown coin which celebrates the Queen Mum's 80th birthday. And then we have two of their 20p's which show a, a flower and I'll be going into that in more depth when I do the review of the St. Elia coins. I'll probably do all three of those in one video. I then have a Rose and Crown 20p from the UK from 2008. This was the last year and there's not many, there weren't many of them minted. I believe it's one of the low minted years. I originally, when I bought it originally, I thought it was a St. Helio coin and a bit of a mistake, but a good mistake in the sense that I don't think I've got the 2008 coin in my date run. Then I'll be doing a quick update on these to finish off these gold cards and what I mean by finish off the gold cards is that I've got one complete set in my album and I have I think with these cards here in this pack and there's about six or seven of them I will complete my fourth set which means say I have three sets that I can give away or exchange for other things. Right, next one. There's just two more things on this particular one and the first one is the Star Wars. I have both the colour and the Cooper Nickel. 
I will be doing a thingy. This is the fourth of the series, so this is the last one in the current series of Star Wars coins. Whether they'll make a second series or not, I'm not sure. Just as the Harry Potter coin that's coming out later on this year, I'm not sure if that's going to be a beginning of a second set of Harry Potter coins, so... We go on and hope they get slightly better than it is at the moment. And finally, in this particular one, this is the brand new Striker Own. If you go down to the Royal Mint at the moment, this is the one that you can strike. It's the 12-sided £1 coin. It is the one from the new series of um, definitive coins, and that is the two Bs on the coin. Now, I didn't think that this would be the first Striker Own of the year because they've only just had the Salmon a couple of coins ago, which was also in this series. So to have the two of them, and this one actually is dated 2024, so it's from the second year batch of uh, coins, in effect. So, I will be doing a full review on that. So we have the Strike Your Own, we have the Star Wars coins, coin 3, sorry coin 4, both in Cooper Nickel and Colour. We have some update for the... Uh, Gold Edge tra uh, trading cards, and then we have some Centelia coins and one UK coin. Centelia crowns and 20p's and the UK 20p from 2008. Oh, come on. Oh, sorry, this is not, does it? Here you go, that's the third of the 20p's. We then have the Blackadder first aid cover and the zero euro banknotes for the year of the dragon so that ends this um, in the post I hope you've enjoyed it, if you have could you please give me a thumbs up it doesn't cost you anything and it also doesn't cost you anything to subscribe to the channel so if you enjoyed what you've seen today and you're still not yet subscribed could you please think about doing so I am trying to up my subscriber level again this year it's an always growing uh, enterprise that we've got and I'm currently I, I was aiming for 250 for the end of last year I'm aiming for this year to be at 425 although I would prefer to get near as 500 but 425 is the minimum I'm looking for which is a uh, 175 which is a slight increase on the 150 that I had last year so I'm looking for a minimum of 425 and as near to 500 as I possibly can get. So if you haven't yet subscribed, I do need your help to get there. And if you're willing to do so, I'd love to have you along for the rest of my journey through uh, bank, banknotes, coins, uh, what, um, military, military, and I also do some collectible stuff as well. If you're having a hunt, I hope you have a successful one and you find the coins you're looking for. If you're buying coins, I hope you can get the ones you want for the price you want to pay. And finally, thank you for staying to the end, and until we meet up again on this channel, which I hope will not be too far into the distant future, from me, thank you so much, and bye-bye. Ta-ra now.